How would you like to entertain in your backyard with something like this? So beautiful, so elegant. I'm gonna show you how to do it. Let's get right to it. For the top, we're gonna to make five of these. Right here, put my little mark and indicate that I'm putting my blade on this side of the line. If I was to come over here, that means this piece would be an eighth of an inch because that's the width of this blade right here. So make sure that I'm cutting over here. All right, here's my line. My blade needs to go on this side. That looks like it. Look at that. You see it? Professional. This here is five. Let me go this way for you. We can use the easy read. Five and five eighths. You see that right here? Five and five eighths. Okay, so let me show you what to do here. Okay. Five inches. Five eighths multiplied by five. Twenty-eight and one eighth. And that's what we need to make these pieces. Remember, you put the pretty side down, and after a little bit of finagling, we finally got this uh, square. We use that little piece over there to kind of help us out. So we all we have to do to find the measurements, uh, to see if it's square, is to measure diagonally, and these numbers need to match up. You need to make sure that each one of these pieces is exactly uh, the same length. So let's see, 39, three quarter. That piece, is, that side over there is kind of messed up. <clears throat> so you'll have to take my word for it. But it's uh, 39 and uh, th yeah, I'd say about three quarter, yep. So now we're just gonna put, cut a little piecey piece and uh, get it to where this thing doesn't um, become unsquare. I'm gonna put, our nice beveled edge on the sides. <clears throat> Do a little lining up, make sure it looks good. I'm gonna stagger and I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do what the heck I wanna do. You know how to use a drill? This is how. So look, I have it set to really low, which means that it's going to stop. But if I was to turn it way up high, see? So what I'm gonna do is probably put it at, I don't know, you'll kind of feel how to go with it, seven or whatever. So remember when we do this, we're gonna be cutting this corner off here. So go ahead and put you a screw right there in the back. A little, little too much. Have my clutch set a little too much on that. This is gonna be 20 and 7 eighths. It's 21 right here, but we're gonna give it just a little leeway. Don't forget to put a little weight on it when you do this. Try not to go too far on the edge. Like right here, you see how the board split? That'll happen. We just need to make sure that we're all lined up and whatever. And this piece right here I'm holding was 20 and uh, 7 eighths. See, looks kind of all right. Yeah, you know, it's good enough. We're not winning awards with it. So we're gonna do the legs for the bar. We want the height of the table to be around 42. So we're going to cut these at 40 and a half, but we also have to put a 15 degree on here. So just make sure this is set at 15, 15 degrees. Make sure this is out a little bit, just snug. All right, so let me mention that when you do this, 
pull from this edge, this corner, 40 and a half. Put you a line like that so you know which direction you're supposed to go. Remember, it needs to look like this. Don't make a mistake and have your angles off. Let's check. 40 and one half, good. And the other side is gonna be the same. All right, so we need to make four of these. So this is what it's gonna look like. And we wanna put a little angle right here to make it nice and pretty. So this is all we do. We're gonna do them on all of them. So from right here, we're gonna put it in the miter saw and give maybe about 15 degrees and then just go like that. So we have our line right here and we wanna cut this little piece. This is set to 15 and this is all we do. See, maybe just a little off, whatever. Nobody's gonna see that. Make sure they look like this. See that? Like a V. Next thing we need to do is uh, find center for here and then drill these little pieces in there. And then of course this is gonna be spaced just like that. So let's figure that out. What I would do was take my tape measure, figure out what the length of this is, 20 and 7 eighths. You just bend it, put it right here on 20 and 7 eighths and then look to see what that is right there. Just kind of guess. 10 and 7 sixteenths. So let's make us a little mark 10 and 7 16th. Let's double check the other side. 10 and 7 16th, awesome. That's our center. We found it. So let's come over three quarters. So I'm going to stop at three quarters here, butt it up. Three quarters right there. And I'm going to come here and come over an inch and a half since that is the width of the two by four. Yep. Come over three inches this way on our center line. And then from here, inch and a half. Okay, you see that? From the center here, three quarters. This is our little spacer, see that? Okay, and then our pieces are gonna come right here. Let me show you what I did here. Is it just went three quarters over here. Took my speed square. Measured out three quarters. Oh, I'm sorry. You could go from here, measure out three quarters, and bring you a line all the way back, so then you can put your screws in here. What I did here is I made sure that I found center, so 28 and uh, an eighth is 14 and 1 16th, and I put my little mark here, and then from here, I went over three quarters on each side, which will equal an inch and a half, and that is the width of these. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these little trim nails and hold it. I wanna hold this thing so when I flip it over, it's not gonna move on me. And I can put my screws up from the bottom, which by the way, on these here, we use these three inch screws, see that? So we're gonna flip this thing over and then put our screws in and uh, 12 and a half lines up everywhere. Pull here, 12 and a half, over here on that 12 and a half and here. Let's go 12 and a half, 12 and a half. Let's pull back probably, let's go five inches. If you go any further than that, then you will not hit your boards. Okay. 12 and a half, 12 and a half, five inches. Okay, first screw, go right in there, put a little cross, a little bullseye, sweet square. All right, so we just take this here, line this on up. This is what's gonna be showing up. So, I mean, you put a little sandy sand on here if you want. Somebody probably get mad at you for doing it, whatever, for doing this. Okay. 12 and a half, five inches. Okay, five inches.
we're doing something that hopefully you can do or not pulling two inches on here and we're going to cut a little 45 on it all we're doing right here with this level is to check that there's no gaps right here a little gap nothing bad looking good right there so we put these in making sure that they are nice and flush flush with the bottom so we've also checked up here and this is uh, 41 and uh, it's 316 whatever over here we already checked it so it should be the same oh it's a little it's uh it's 41 and a quarter whatever it's close enough so these are the long runs here all I did I came down two inches I marked it and then from here that so we're gonna cut this piece right there this is what we decided on let me tell you how we found center to make sure this is right <clears throat> if this is six in, uh, six feet all you do is cut that in half and that's three feet we put our mark right there if you can see it and what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over two and a quarter so you come over two and a quarter right here because what's happening here right we got uh, inch and a half right and then in the center of this gap is three quarters so two and a quarter so do this on both sides and now what you can do is you could take a frame and square see that and uh, I got a little one of these just stick it in there and you can check it see how it is so what's going on is I'm about uh, my gap I put the line right there so I have an eighth gap right here this is a uh, center two and a quarter let me put it on my line and see what's going on I also have another eighth gap okay so something's a little weird but it doesn't matter we know that this here is where it's supposed to be it's in the center so also let me mention that uh, we basically space this by just throwing a two by six in there so we wanted to test it we flipped it over and we just put these braces temporarily on here we have one screw on each holding it and then I put that clamp in the center to keep uh, everything from wiggling around let's come over like we've done before three quarter put a little line on the top we're just transferring lines over and bring them lines right on down and now we know where to put our screws you lined up on those lines everything good nice and flush at the top perfect so we made sure we were right with the lines we put a little spacer here so we put just a little spacer okay and how we checked to see if this was you know correct is we ran this board this way and we measured from that to here from the bottom is 27 and three quarter all right we need to find center we put this other one up here we're gonna measure three feet okay we check it make sure it's right from this three foot I'm gonna come over three quarter and then from the that three quarters I'm going to come over a inch and a half. Okay. How's that look? Okay, so back here on our center line, we go over three quarter. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. And from this new line, we just made an inch and a half because that's going to give us our stuff here. Mark the line right here. Remember 27 three quarter. three quarter that's 27 and 7 eighths 27 and 7 eighths so what we did here this is one way you can try to do it make sure they're lined up it's probably not the best way but if you're just checking it's better than nothing so let's go to the other side okay you see that's good right there you see how there's no gaps in between here and here 
That's how it's supposed to be. So we decided to make these a little shorter. These right now are six feet long. And if you was to put two of them here, which is what our plan is, you are really far away. And um, it just kind of seems better to come one length in. See, this is way more comfortable. I guess if you wanted to put three, you could. It's not really that big of a deal. We did make these 18 inches. And of course we came over two inches and put a 45 on that. So the measurement, what we're gonna do is we came over five and five eighths, which is basically the width of this, came down two inches and then put another 45 on here and I'm gonna cut all this with the skill saw. This length from this mark to the other um, is 61 inches. So how do you like it? We just put these up here to mock it up. Remember this is 61 inches. Looks so much better, doesn't it? So for the footrest, these pieces right here, this is on a 15 degree angle. Also right there, you measure from your point 10 and a half and you'll need another one and all around. So this right here is just 45s, these right there. Uh, this measurement was 15 and 5 eighths. All we did was measure from the inside and the reason why we did that is because we're going to have to cut these little um, things off the edge. So just kind of split the difference if there's any gaps or whatever. And then what you would do is you would just run your pencil along the back on each side. You could take your, your uh, speed square and you make yourself a nice 90. Okay like that and we're gonna cut these all right your 15 and 5 eighths is from the inside so what you want to do is you want to cut an inch so you put your one inch mark right there and come over here 16 and 5 eighths okay now that way you're more accurate see that 15 and 5 eighths and put you a line to indicate you're going this way. All right, here we are. Line at the back, try to get these gaps where they're supposed to be. And we take our pencil, mark along here and here. Okay, so to cut this, we're on a 45 right here. See, this is at a 15 degree. You see that? We're ready to do the other side. We're at a 45 and the 15. <clears throat> Look at that. Look at that. Looks good. Looks good. I need to scoot this over a little bit, this bottom piece. Other than that, perfect. So we flushed this up to the outside and since this is 18 inches, we just cut it in half and made nine line. I came over an inch and a half, a line in line because that's where we're gonna put our screws. So it's a little flush here, it's right there. You wanna take your speed square and make this part right, okay? All right, let's put a hole in the center for our umbrella since this is 28 uh, inches 28 and an eighth half of that is 14 and a 16 so let's go here 14 1 16 14 1 16 put a little X we are going to cut this an inch and a half I'm gonna set my clutch to almost drill I like to go a little bit less just to, in case something sticks I'm going to use the torque. It's 
kind of dull. If you have something you'd like to see me build, please leave a comment. Otherwise, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.